K-I-L-R Killer Games Hello gamers, minecrafters, retro gamers, I am the Killer Gamer. There's a lot of gamers. <laughs> Welcome to the Minecraft progression series from Alpha, reliving uh, from Alpha, where we start from Alpha and we just kind of go through all the different versions. Uh, at the moment, we're just kind of staying with Alpha until I kind of build up the area and then we'll just kind of go from there. Um, also, too, uh, when there is uh, some more comments, more feedbacks of, hey, you know, I want to see beta, I want to see beta, I want to see the next version, uh, that also, too, uh, will be uh, an influence uh, to move to the next version. So, haunted, yes, there's a lot of haunted stuff out there. Let's get back into, into... <laughs> Into what? Uh, where we left off. That's where. Because <laughs> it was kind of haunted. Maybe. My goodness. Yeah, quite a, a lot of pigs over here. Oh, there is pork. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. No, I don't think it's pork. I think it still says... Oh, you don't can't see it. But it's the same as this. So you cook this. So the beef or the pork, it's the same thing. But you notice how they don't stack? So you have to be very uh, strategic with your inventory. You can't just hoard stuff. <laughs> And there's actually two modes of play. There's this one, but you also get a random chance of getting a winter world. And it's winter as far as the eye sees. It never changes. I've definitely been here because I did all this. <laughs> the tilling. There are some people out there that really like Alpha because of the um, terrain that it winds up generating. Um, even Beta, people are relatively amazed by the uh, terrain that it generates. You know, compa compared to the latest versions now. Do I have a boat? No, I don't. Boats break, by the way. <laughs> They're not very strong. Ooh, that's deep. Yeah, something's really haven't changed. You know, if anything, they're just, you know, minor little things. You know, but me being into retro games and stuff, I, I love going back to these to these old versions. And I've mentioned it before in other videos and stuff that I started Minecraft back in 1.8. Uh, not not alpha or beta, just you know the regular full release version. 
And so with this, um, I want to be able to re-experience uh, new, you know, uh, for the first time going through um, the old versions and stuff. Go ahead and I don't even think there's baby zombies yet. I don't think the baby zombies are 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 here yet. It's a little dark there. Definitely need to make some more torches here. All right, we got ourselves a little little far away cave here. Did I forget to cover something up? No. Maybe I did. <laughs> well, I guess there's nothing else to do right now other than dig. There's no bed. Can't make a bed. Can't sleep through the night. Thank goodness there's no phantoms. <laughs> like in the later version. So see, that's another, another thing you need to worry about too, is when you're in alpha, um, if you die, not only do you lose your stuff, but you get sent all the way back to your spawn point. There is no... I mean, this is hardcore. This is like hardcore before hardcore, you know, was ever a thing. I don't mind the phantoms too much, actually. It adds a kind of a freaky element, if anything. I mean, honestly, there's a lot of stuff they added that's not really necessary. Like bees, <laughs> llamas. They're really not necessary. But I welcome them. It's nice to be able to have uh, actual, you know, new mobs and stuff without having to use a, a mod. Because you, you know my feelings on mods. Um, I like them, but then when there's a new version, it breaks them. And then you have to, like, hope that the author makes a new one. So, you know, I'm just not a... And there are some great mods, too. But it's kind of discouraging, you know? You you use a mod and, and then you're like stuck with that version. Yeah. It's not that bad though. Um I on average I wind up, you know, sleeping through the night anyway, just, you know, just to get past the, um, just to get to the daylight. The only time that it's really a thing is when you haven't been able to, uh, make a bed yet, or you've been out, uh, digging for a while. I 
I'm like looking over here and not knowing what I'm doing. Yeah, same here. Um, I was, you know, I... <laughs> um, on the... I think it was the Let's Build series. Yeah, I think it was on the Let's Build series. That's when I had first started playing, I think, 1.15. Because I was busy doing 1.12 for the Greenfield uh, series. And then I've been doing, you know, Alpha... Uh, I was messing around with beta. I don't have any videos on that. But then, you know, I, I, I started playing the 1.15, and I hear this screeching sound that just sent a shiver up my spine. I'm like, what the heck is that? And sure enough... It was those phantoms. I'm almost thinking like one of the most useless mobs they've added were the turtles. <laughs> First, they seem to be all over the place. <laughs> And it seems like they just get in the way. I think the most you can do is, like, what, make a helmet or something with them? Grab a better sword here. Ooh, I hear a skeleton. Could be over here. And there's no shield. It's funny how you take certain things for granted. Okay, well, I don't think we have to worry about light there. I'm surprised there wasn't anything that spawned over here. Ah, well, that's it for my... Pickaxe. I can make another one though. <laughs> Except I don't have any sticks. Duh. Now try it. Oh yeah, no villagers, by the way. <laughs> the hmm made me think. It's like, oh yeah, there's no villagers. Uh, no ravines. Trying to find diamonds is extremely hard.
heck, finding iron for that matter. Parrots I've seen, but you know what? I don't see enough parrots. But in the places that, that I've traveled, there's, you know, always beaches or something, and those turtles are just everywhere. Now the illagers, they're they're rel relatively uh, interesting. <laughs> I still haven't gone up against one of their uh, outposts yet. Oh, they took that part out? Okay, I didn't realize that that's what they took out. That's a bummer. That's actually kind of surprising. They should be adding features, not removing them. Is it daylight? How'd you get in here? By the way, they just randomly spawn. <laughs> if there's dirt or grass, they just randomly spawn. You do get leather, so you, you, you can make, you know, some of your armor. But it still needs to be dark for the uh, actual monsters to spawn. Plenty of coal here. Hello there, Zero Hunar. How are you? Good to see ya. Welcome to classic Minecraft. Like really, really old Minecraft. Back in alpha days. Hmm. Let's work our way around this. Back when Minecraft was simple. It's funny, I think uh, my love for the classic flight simulators is what inspired me to try playing uh, classic alpha and classic beta uh, Minecraft. And I wound up really appreciating it for the simplicity that it has. It's actually quite relaxing with it being this simple. You know, I'm just kind of like, nah, da, 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 da. <laughs> you know. Mm. 
very zen-like. There's not as much music. Yeah, I do a lot of Minecraft. I have a lot of... Whoa, there we go. I have a lot of Minecraft videos um, on Killer Television, the uh, YouTube channel. Ooh, there's something down there. Well, we definitely don't want to go that way. I got multiple series. Um, I had just recently put out a video. Um, I don't know if you knew about this, uh, but just a few days ago, someone found the world seed for uh, the original panoramic. When you when you start when you start the game, it was it was before 1.13 where it, it would show the overworld and it would spin around. Someone actually found that seed. Um, and I featured it uh, today in a uh, Shep Rambles uh, episode. So uh, it, it works with beta 1.7.3. Uh, there's two seeds. Um, I tested them both out. And sure enough, that, that is what they used uh, to do that panoramic because uh, it's not very far from the spawn point. Now, if you take those two seeds and put them into, like, the, the latest Minecraft, 1.16.1, you don't, you, don't, you don't get that same, uh, that same terrain, but you do get something interesting. One of them puts you close to a village that happens to be uh, close to another one. There's like two villages really close to each other and they're both decent size. And the other the other seed uh, puts you on a little island uh, in an ocean and in that same uh, coordinates uh, that would be there for beta, there is a big village sitting on an island. <laughs> it's really cool. Uh, that's understandable. Understandable. That definitely happens. Don't worry, we won't be offended. <laughs> I'm just glad you're here. Boy, that just looks so red and orange and inviting. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. Ooh, this goes a long ways down. Wonder if we'll find our diamond down there. I'm making a uh, barrier here so that way I don't get pushed off or something. made me shake for a moment. <laughs> and that's a long ways down. Hmm. 
We gotta be careful here. Oh, there is another cave. pickaxe left. It's not a r ravine, but that's kind of close. When am I going to build my new PC? It's in the process. Um, I tested out uh, my uh, heat sink fan, this right here, to make sure it works. It does. Um, I just need to attach that big thing to my CPU, put the fan on it, and hopefully uh, I'll check the temperatures on it and make sure that it's not running hot. And as long as it's not running hot, uh, then I can proceed. Well, I'll need to get a uh, replacement hard drive to start installing stuff, but... Yeah, but that's the major thing. The major thing is getting that heat sink on. I think I may do some work on it tomorrow because uh, I don't do any streaming on Tuesday. I use Tuesday to do uh, editing, uh, some offline recording, rendering. So yeah, while the computer is busy rendering uh, episodes and stuff, uh, that's like the perfect time for me to work on the PC. Gold! We found ourselves some gold. A little hard to get to. What thermal paste am I going to use? Uh, good question. I have it here somewhere. Here it is. I had looked it up. It's Arctic MX4 Thermal Compound. It's this right here. I haven't opened it up in a while, but it's probably still good, I'm sure. Oh no, we lost our sound again. Alright, we'll go ahead and end things right here as I'm kind of, you know, looking over... My little porch thing and seeing what's out there. I want to thank you all for watching and oh hey, bouncy creeper. Boing boing boing. <laughs> I always find those amusing and, and alpha. How they just kind of bounce, 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 bounce. It's like, hey, 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 you come play. <laughs> come play with a creeper. That's not creepy at all. Hey, look, two zombies. Anyways, yeah, if you're enjoying this series, um, go ahead and leave a, a like. That would help me out and help the series and the channel. Um, I'd, I'd appreciate it. And if you're new here, please click that subscribe button and ring the notification bell. So that way you get notified of future Minecraft content, which we do every Monday. And also, ooh, sun's coming up. Yeah, you zombies are going to be hurting. Also, on Mondays, we do Minecraft-themed over on Twitch. 
live streaming. So, yeah, uh, many times as I'm recording these episodes, I will also live stream, and that will give you all a chance to be part of the show. So, check that out. Do different themes throughout the week, um, just like here on YouTube. Also, do it over on Twitch. So, plenty of opportunities for you to uh, interact with me and be a part of the shows that I'm recording. Love to have you there. <laughs> bounce, bounce, bounce. <laughs> uh, something else. Instagram. Take uh, photos and pictures of projects that I'm working on behind the scenes. Twitter for official killer news and announcements. Retweets of things that I think you might find interesting. Well, that, he's still over there. Uh, and then uh, Snapchat. Just for fun. Just for silly fun. Ooh, be careful. <laughs> and then for those of you who would like to get uh, serious. Well, that didn't work. Hey. Any others around here? <laughs> okay, so yeah. So any of you uh, who want to take it to the next step, uh, there is Patreon. And so anything that you are uh, willing to donate really helps me out. It helps out the channel uh, immensely. Uh, and you get something in return, too. There are bonuses and rewards there. So please, um, go check that out. There's different tier levels uh, set up. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. Appreciate it. And I will see you on the next episode of our progressive series. Have a killer, awesome day. <laughs>